Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to review Copper CRM. Copper CRM is amazing, easy to use CRM, that's what I believe in. And in this video I'm going to review the pricing plans, then I'm going to show you like the tools, what it's about, what you can get there, how you can create projects, tasks, etc. And then also I'm going to give you like what I think about it, advantages, disadvantages, top features, and then alternatives comparing to Cooper CRM, Copper CRM. Now the first thing that we're going to do is when we enter the pricing plans, you have option for free pricing plans. You can choose between the monthly and annual version. Now if I'm going to click on the monthly version, let's say we see $29, $69 and $129. When we see and like what you can get here is that it's included 2500 contact limit, Google Workspace integration, OK pipelines, content attachment team collaboration. On the other hand, with the professional, if you actually need a workflow automation, if you need a reporting or a bulk email and templates, I would definitely recommend going with professional. And of course, on the right side, we see the business. And here we have option to choose uh, with website tracking, lead scoring, LinkedIn integration, unlimited contacts. So here you can see uh, the professional is like the most used here. But you have option uh, which one you want to get started with. In the moment when you would like start here, I want to also show you the integrations like in a basic, you're not going to find a lot of integrations. Then also in the basic, you're not going to have also the marketing as a bulk email or email templates. And then uh, you don't have the reporting here. So that's pretty much it. Now, when you're going to enter uh, the copper, so what do I think about pricing plans? That's what I forgot. Pricing plans are like all the CRM tools uh, got a little bit, a little bit expensive. But again, uh, on annual version, 25 bucks or 59 bucks is like on the higher side comparing to like Zoho CRM. Or even when I check here, I want to pipe drive CRM. And look, let's hear what they pricing got. See, they got professional two also for 50 euro. And here you're going to find also for that's like 52 euro. So you see it here, it's a little bit expensive on the expensive side, but still you can try it for free and see if you actually like it. So when you enter Cooper, you can simply click here, let's say add a company and let's say the company is going to call Sunwee, right? Then you can add street and everything address. I can click save here. When I have it, uh, then on a, a bunch of companies, I'm going to find people and I'm going to click here, add a person. And let's say this is going to be Marcus client. I can add a company and we are going to choose the company that we just created, let's say. And here again, you have option to add an address, description and everything. Now click save. Now in the moment when you got it and when you're going to enter it, I'm going to click on the companies and pipelines. Here you can, what you can do is just easily create a pipeline. So I'll click here, create a pipeline. Let's say this is going to be a Sanwi deal pipeline. Click next. Now I can add simply a stages if I want to. So I can simply move them. So let's say this is going to be new proposal product demos and closing. Click done. Okay. And here we are. So what you can see, we see the new proposal product demos closing and I can click add new. And let's say this is going to be new opportunity YouTube business, primary contact, relate contact. So let's say this is going to be Marcus client. And in the moment when you're going to add a client, automatically you will add a company. So as you can see, even the, uh, like add win percentage, let's say 25, add a value description tags, everything you can add here. I'm going to click save now. Now what you can do in the moment when you have it, you can simply move it, right? As proposal, product demos, closing, or you can even like easily go on the bottom and go to lost abandoned one. 
So all of that you can do. So this is how you can manage all your pipelines, projects, and here we're going to have the projects. So again, I can easily create a project and let's say this is going to be a YouTube channel project relate to let's say this is going to be the Sunwe company and I'm going to click save and here look at this what we have so I have uh, the project here I can add a new project if I want I can click on the project and find activity and everything so when we go further I can simply go on the tasks and I can create a task here and again let's say this is going to be a task called call Marcus and I can have activity type if it's going to be phone call meeting SMS and I can have relation to so which can be let's say Marcus client and then what I can do I can simply click save here and then I'm going to find also the marketing tools that I have and in your tasks you can have multiple tasks here if you want so in the marketing tools so I'll create a new couple account with your company email address to access marketing tools if you want me to guys I can create a tutorial on marketing tools too and how we can do it and how we can use it So then you're going to find also the reports and here uh, you need to have upgraded version and then settings. So as you can see, the copper CRM is okay. It's all right. I really like the option to add a copper to Gmail. So not only that you can track the deals, get reports, Google Workspace CRM, manage projects, integrations, mobile app, all of these, you can also add copper to Gmail and just download the extension. So that's something you can do. And you see that it got also uh, really good reviews. For small businesses, this is pretty good. So Copper is really well made and I really like how simple it looks and the design, the user interface is also really good. Now, if you're gonna have any questions, let me down in the comments. What are some alternatives? You can use Zoho CRM Pipedrive is a really good competition to Copper CRM. HubSpot CRM, the free version is perfect. And that's pretty much it. So uh, to summarize it, I recommend it. The pricing is a little bit high, but still it's worth it. So thank you very much guys and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.